Khalil Gibran. It was in the garden of a madhouse that I met a youth with a face pale and lovely and full of wonder. And I sat beside him upon the bench and I said, why are you here? And he looked at me in astonishment. And he said, it is an unseemly question, yet I will answer you. My father would make of me a reproduction of himself. <coughs> so also would my uncle. My mother would have me the image of her illustrious father. My sister would hold up her seafaring husband as the perfect example for me to follow. My brother thinks I should be like him, a fine athlete. And my teachers also. The doctor of philosophy and the music master and the logician, they too were determined, and each would have me a reflection of his own face in a mirror. Therefore I came to this place. I find it more sane here. At least I can be myself. Then of a sudden he turned to me and he said, But tell me, were you also driven to this place by education and good counsel? And I answered, No, I am a visitor. And he said, Oh, you are one of those who live in the madhouse on the other side of a wall. I want you. When the shades of eve are falling and purple shadows drift across the land, when the sleepy birds to loving mates are calling, I want the soothing softness of your hand. I watch you. The gentle slope where it is warm by your shoulder. When the little blue bird who has never said a word starts to sing spring, spring. When the little blue bell in the bottom of the dell starts to ring, ding, ding. I want you. When the stars shine up above me and the heavens flood with the bright moonlight. I want you, with your arms and lips, to love me throughout the wonder watches of the night. My eyes are closed. I can feel the tap of your blood against my cheek. When the little blue clerk in the middle of his work starts to tune to the moon up above, it is nature, that's all, simply telling us to fall in love. I want you, <laughs> when in dreams I still remember the lingering of your kiss for old time's sake, with all your gentle ways so sweetly tender, I want you in the morning when I wake. Inside my mind, I see the gentle movement to your valleys, the undulations, the slow turnings. And that's why birds do it. Bees do it. Even educated fleas do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. I want you. When the day is at its noontime, sun steeped and quiet, more drenched with sheets of rain. I want you. When the roses bloom in June time, I want you. When the violets come again. Opening my eyes, there is a soft, dark, and beautiful butte moving up and down as you breathe. In Spain, the best upper sets do it. Lithuanians, and let's do it. Let's fall in love. In Dutch, the old Amsterdam do it. Not to mention the Finns. Folks in Siam do it. Think of Siamese twins. Some Argentines without means do it. People say in Boston, even beans do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. I want you when my soul is thrilled with passion. I want you when I'm weary and depressed. I want you when, in lazy slumberous fashion, my senses need the haven of your breast. There are fine and very tiny ferns growing, and I can make them move by breathing. Romantic sponges, they say, do it. Oysters down in Oyster Bay, do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. Cold cake cock clams give their wish, do it. Even lazy jellyfish do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. I want you when I'm standing on the shore. I want you through field and wood and roaming. I want you when the summer birds are homing and when they flow. And I want you more and more. I want you with my skin moving upon yours, and I have known you well. Electric eels do it, <laughs> though it sucks them, I know. Why ask if Shad do it? Way to bring me Shad row. In shallow shoals, English souls do it. Goldfish in the privacy of bowls do it. Let's